this week, a pack of dogs attacked a woman on a walk, and that's according to the Saline County Sheriff's Office. Now neighbors say they have been a problem for years. We're told in the last two years, at least two dogs have been killed by a pack that live at that same house. It's hard for me to talk about still. KRK 4's Rebecca Jeffrey spoke to one neighbor whose dog was killed, and the woman who was attacked was right outside her home. She asks what else needs to happen before she can feel safe outside again. Rebecca. Stephanie, good evening. We know the dog's owner was cited after they mauled a middle-aged woman outside walking her own dog on a leash Monday. But the owners have apparently been cited before. While the county does not have a leash law, one neighbor is tired of having to change her life to ensure she's not the next victim. Welcome to my world. For more than a decade, Misty Anderson has watched these dogs roam her road. I do get scared. I, I don't like coming out at night. Some dogs were chained up, while others were freely coming over to Anderson's property. You have to wait to get out of your vehicle. These pictures show the dog's owner herding the animals back over to her house. It's been like that for a while. But what seems like typical dog behavior in the county took a near deadly turn Monday. I hate to say it, but... I knew it was going to happen eventually. Documents from Saline County show that Sabrina Hardesty, taking her dog for a morning walk, was brutally attacked. You don't walk your own dog down this road, even though it, you, you should be able to. A witness captured this photo of one of the dogs involved in the attack, who Anderson says is named Goliath. He was okay until you start running with a pack. A pack? That killed her own dog. It's hard for me to talk about still. Her husband at the time was taking their dog Bear outside when he watched the neighbor's garage door open and several dogs come after them. And before he could pick him up, the dogs grabbed him out of his arms. Anderson's story is one of several, and though the neighbors have been cited before, it's not enough to cause change. She gets slapped on the wrist. But Anderson says after watching this situation worsen, she's ready to bite back. The neighbors were cited for unlawful dog attack and a vicious dog. At least three dogs have been removed from their property. Anderson hopes the rest are either, either taken away from those owners or a large enough fence is installed to control the aggressive dogs. Steph.